Hey, YouTube, what's up? I'm Alan. This is Stationeers, My Miss, Standard, Episode 2, Video 2. Um, so, after the last session, I expanded this area a bit. I went out to 3x5, uh, mostly because I wanted some room to hang the water bottle filler, I guess. Um, I also went and got a bunch of resources. Uh, oh, I put them in shelves. <laughs> um, but I didn't, I didn't smelt anything. I, hang on, how's my food and water before I go outside? Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, do I still have oh, just a little bit of a granola bar? I wonder why when you use those, it drops it on the floor instead of consumes it. I mean, not a particularly, uh, Bad problem, just I wonder. All right, so I did set up the furnace. Uh, it's not, I haven't done anything with it, it's just hooked up and got a vent on the end of it. Let's look at our, uh, yeah, we'll just top it up. Topped up. Uh, so what I want to do let's see so I just organized everything sort of in you know order so let's let's look at what we've got supplies to build so if we take Iron and nickel, we get in invar. If we take copper and nickel, we get constantan. If we take one of these, I thought, yeah, one of these is incomplete. So let's just, we'll call this row our steel. I only found 20 silver, so let's set that there. Oh, and then, yeah, I've got forty-eight. So we've got solder. So we want to do Invar, no, Invar, Constantin, Steel, 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 um, Electrum, Solder. Sorry, cough break. Had a tickle in my throat. Uh, actually, after the steel, I'll probably just do the rest of the iron, the silicon. Yeah, and then we'll deal with the uh, uh, electrum and solder. So let's just go ahead and stick those two together and those two together. And actually, I don't think I need to worry about... As long as I'm not over there when I... Oh, you know what? I might need to worry about it because I'm going to turn this off and that's going to be a problem. But there's going to be atmosphere over here, so if I hold something in my hand, it's probably going to melt.
Um, I'm not sure. It's fine. I'm not sure how much of this to use. So let's see how two goes. Oh, yep. Okay, we're going to need more than two. Let's try... Six and six. Okay. Good. Uh, what is it we need for Invar? I always forget. So 1.4? No, 1.2. Something else is 1.4. So we're losing that pressure fast. Oh, and that's the one we need. Um, yeah, 18 to 20. So, all right, well, let's, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in. That'll boost our pressure. Okay, I would have thought it would have boosted our pressure more than that. All right, there's our Invar mix. Let's boost our pressure some more. Okay, not much. So let's go. I don't know, another ten. That's that's not going to be enough either. I thought volatiles and nitrites were supposed to be the hotness, literally. Come on. I paused. I realized I didn't even put the ores in there. Uh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Cool. One. Okay, Invar. Come on. We over twenty? Not quite. One one two. Constant ten. It's 
you can still get a steel. Steel. Uh, so now let's just... Send through a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll just basically degas it. Oh, no, I want you first. Well, I'll keep this up. Okay, now it's a race to see if we make it to 2.4 before we get under 800 degrees C. Okay. Got it. Nice. As you can see, I, I organized all our new materials. I hate when that happens. Uh, this might goose the temperature up because there's still stuff in there. Yep. Because that off gas is, uh, volatiles? So, yeah, I'll wait. Well, I could wait for that to cool down or I could. I could vent some of this. I need to keep, I think it's one MPA, so I'm going to try to keep like two MPA so that as the pressure goes down, we don't lose all the volume. Oh, or 2.6. That'll do. Uh, okay, so let's, while we have the benefit of the sun, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Power low. Um, I think before I start trying to plant in there, I think I'm going to extend this out some. Uh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't, because now I can get in fact, I've got a ton of, yeah, I, okay, I've got materials. So what I'll do, first of all, I will turn that back on so I don't forget. Check this guy. Oh, this guy will be down in a second. Oh, is this going to be a race too? I paused for a little bit if you didn't notice. Our temperature's at 1.5 MPA, and we're still creeping down towards that 550 we need to hit. I thought this was going to go faster. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Solder. I'll just store that, or organize that. And as much as I hate to dump it, I, I don't want it to all just turn into liquid in there and explode stuff. Uh, I think the furnace probably would be okay, but... Actually, I'm not sure. Um, do I need to bring anything else in? Do I care about the Sterling engine right now? No. Oh, I wanted to put this... in there. Uh, just four. Okay, that's probably just for building this thing. So we will head indoors. Oh, you know what I should make first? Uh, it's in here. Gold and copper. I have some of that right here. OK. 
Okay, one of those. And I think one of... Yeah. Oh, that's right. You can't you can't selectively unpack these. Well, I'm going to need that shortly anyway. I figured I'd grab its battery. Uh, you guys can stay there. And then Ah, oh, damn it. I knew I wanted silver for something. Um, yeah, I'll have to make that later. Uh, I wanted silver for something other than constant electrum. So, yeah, I'm going to pop my suit off. Actually, before, before I do that, because I... I don't want... Nope. I don't want to just throw the suit on the ground. I feel like that's waiting for it to get broken. I don't know if that's actually a thing. But I don't want to find out. So let's make somewhere to put it, even though we don't have a suit storage. The, um... Airlock seems as good a place as any. Where did I put my... Nope, not... Yep, stop it. Where did I put my headlamp? Hydration critical. No, really, where did I put it? Hello? Did it... Uh... Oh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna... Start printing up some stuff for base expansions. Uh... I also, I think I'll start printing the mods. I'll at least get the electronics printer mod, probably the tool mod, so I can get a better drill. Priorities. Yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, got a bunch of stuff printed and like a dope. I um, didn't actually print the better drill. I used up all my iron. So that was done. Uh, okay, so... I think I have... What's in the way? Oh, the stupid... Nobody saw anything. I would have liked to have uh, had enough to go out to five by five, but actually, do I have enough sheets? I might not. Nope, not that one, that one. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just do everything on ground level, suit lady. 
Uh, but I did print off the new, t the better tool belts, so that's nice. And a couple of large batteries, one of which I put in the drill, thinking I was about to get the heavy Jet drill. Uh, I also wanted to make the arc welder, because that's convenient. But again, I, I didn't leave myself enough steel for that. So I think we'll get this started and then I'll, I'll do a mining run. Focusing on steel. Since those are fairly easy to mine even with the oh, basic drill. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. I also think... Jetpack low. Yep, thank you. I think what I'm going to do is cover that part with frames and maybe leave one or two frames worth sticking out and then build like a second level up there, sort of tiered, like... Like have, you know, glass along this wall and then above here... And then probably two and then frames over here. Well, it actually would be one over here. And then have another level up here. And then it just have it like step back. I don't normally build... Uh, creatively. So I think what I'll do is I'll go... Window to the wall to the window. Nope. Too many. Jetpack low. And so eventually this will extend out one more. So really I want this to be a flat wall, but I didn't I didn't make any. So we'll just use type one for now. And then to get the windows lined up consistently, I usually just align it for placing along the front wall and then press the and key to get it to fall flat. Usually that lines up, although it doesn't matter quite as much with the uh, windows, the uh, kit walls, since they um, have that hex pattern. But the vertical walls, it's pretty obvious when... Oh, I didn't bring the glass out with me. And I need plastic. So I have um, I have plenty of uh, sheets. We oh, duh! I actually turned that off this time to save some battery because these I thought the doors used to use a whole lot of power. I imagine they still use a bunch of power, but I. Maybe not as much. Um, plastic. Yeah, I think that's enough. Jetpack low. Save power. I should, uh, yeah, I'm going to flip those over. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. It's two plastic sheets. Uh, not you. You. Jetpack low. Sure, like that. I'll eventually replace them with flat walls. I just didn't think ahead to make them. Oh. Actually, maybe I'll just... Let's, uh, you know, water, etc. Like, I just was thinking it's, it's daytime. I'm going to go out mining. Check it out. Mark II arc welder. Mining drill heavy. Now we're cooking with electrons. I also, so I extended this out. The one more, see this is what I wanted was two sets of windows and then above here will be more blocks, more frames. So that should give us, oh, uh, five by six. Well, I'm an idiot. I mean, it it's fine. I just it's going for five by five. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I was wondering if I had sealed those all in. I guess that answers that. Okay, we'll do the head check. I really wish these were easier to see. Okay, those are good, 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 good. So right there where it we can see the white from the outside. I can see it. It might not come through on the recording, but I can see the the chicken wire. Okay, should be good. Hunger caution. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, not yet. All right. Now, a little low pressure in here. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. So I I was poking around at these things while uh, while I was waiting. So this 
Oh, sorry, I was looking at the temperature. Okay, the temp it's insulated when it's in there. Good, that's what I was hoping for. So we have 12 liters of liquid hy nitrogen. So that would work go a long way to filling up this atmosphere. Uh, I put together the filtration thingy. Oh, we have another one as well. We can just... Uh, Just use some liquid carbon dioxide. Okay, that only brought it up to 22 kPa. That okay. Uh, but at least we got some uh, plant food out of it. And I'm not actually going to use this. So what the hell? Here goes something. Okay, I mean, I, I knew the temp was going to go down, but wow. It's still only 2 kPa. <laughs> Does this thing work? Can this thing heat without that? Oh, uh... Oh, dear. Health low. Uh, temperature critical, oxygen low. Okay, a little chilly. Yep, snowflakes on our HUD. See, this is what you get for trying to save power. Okay, we have the technology. One of those, please. Oh, my helmet is open. I thought I closed it. fine. Actually, let's watch it, bud. In fact, you go away. So, out. Oh, I built some stackers. I want this on this network, actually.
Question is which? Nope. APC, because there should be two on here. Looks like that was the one. Okay, that'll take a moment because it's actually going to pressurize that space, which will be difficult. Let's see if we can bring the temperature up a little in here. Okay, only only a little. Uh, well, I mean, at this point, this would bring the temperature up. I think. Except that it won't melt. <laughs> uh, of course. Okay. Uh, maybe we get back here. We still have the technology. Iron, gold, and copper. Doesn't using the machines actually bring the temperature up? Isn't that why we went from negative 10 to negative 9, maybe? Anyway, I'll wait for this. Look at that, our arc welder is paying off already. Uh, now what? Screwdriver, maybe? Cable coil. Two of them. What a coincidence. In fact, um, oh, actually, that's the APC network, or the, sorry, the battery network. Sure. I said, sure. I think I've got that hooked up right. Where is it? We'll just try out one of all the tools. Nope, that's the one I wanted. Uh, yeah, water out at the top. Uh, I know we can adjust the uh, output temperature, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone since the goal is to warm up the room a little. Can't have our tools in the wrong spots. It's just as dangerous as painting things the wrong color. Okay, let's try that again. a little tidying up. So I was going to say I should print some more um, hydroponics trays, but uh, 
don't have any. Did I only get soybeans and mushrooms? Ugh. There. Nope, negative five degrees. We're getting there. So I, I've changed out of my suit. Uh, it's a little chilly, but can cope with it. Threw another chunk of oxide in there. Um, I thought I'd print off some stuff, and I, I thought I, I meant to show you. So I have the stackers, but I also like to put a junction and then an inlet near one of them, so I have a way to just split stuff. So I've been splitting this steel so I can just put in, you know, like, if I want 10 walls, I can just put in 10 steel and get 10 walls and not overshoot it. I know later on we can, you know, like, automate it and stuff, but this is a easy way to do that now. Nope. Uh, it'll be fine. I don't know, maybe that one's too flat. I know, don't pull those out. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show that, you know, I'm in the space now. Um, I think between videos I'm going to probably go get some more resources, print off a few things, surprise, and get ready for the next project. So if uh, you liked the video, give it a like. Otherwise, you know, don't. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.